Okay, ladies, I'm on my last layer, okay? I've done all my layers. I'm out of hamburger. I'm out of cheese. So this is the top part that I was talking about. And what I do is I layer it with my last pieces of lasagna. Don't look at my dirty stove. All right. We're layering it with our last pieces of lasagna. Uh, I need to layer over a little bit. On the top piece, I do lay over because I want to seal it, sort of, kind of. So I'm pulling it over a little bit because I really don't want any cracks or holes in the top part. So it'll take four on the top, as you see. Then I have my piece that I'm going to lay long ways. Okay? Like that. And my little pieces that I have left, I'm going to lay over here in this corner. Alright? Now, this is what I do with my top piece. I have my extra spaghetti sauce and I have some pepperonis. Um, like I said, I'm, he doesn't really care for the pepperonis down in the meat. So what I do is I cover this with the extra sauce. Okay, just like that. Just, you know, dab it on. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be pretty, unless you're presenting it. So, I'll take my extra, and I'll just shake it on as much as possible. Covering all the little cracks and crevices that I can. Um, at this point, if you have extra cheese, you can put that on top. But, I rarely put it on top because it'll burn. Um, you can layer with pepperonis now, and that'll give it a nice flavor um, on the top. You can just layer the pepperonis across the top, and when they cook, you know, when they get crispy from the oven, they are so good. You know how we eat the pepperonis off the pizza before we even eat the pizza? So, and you know, just layer them like so, and they give a different flavor. To your top part. And that's how I incorporate pepperonis into my lasagna. I don't use the sausages like the Zumo sausages because we don't have Zumo sausages here in Virginia. Um, we have the kielbasa and all that, which I know people say is the same thing. I keep showing y'all my dirty stove. Sorry. And you put on, you know, as many as you want, as much as you like. <clears throat> and usually I'll shake it with uh, Parmesan cheese on the top. Um, but I don't do that before I put it in the oven. What I'm going to do now is stick it in the oven and I'll leave it in for about probably 30, 35 minutes. Because really everything is already cooked. You're just melting it all together, just molding it all together. Um, so I'll leave it like that and I'll stick it in the oven. I personally don't cover it with Reynolds Wrap. If you want to, you can. It's all up to you. But this is my finished product of my lasagna. And this is just quick lasagna. No ricotta cheese. We don't like ricotta cheese. My family won't eat it. I don't eat it. So this is how I make it. My nieces and them love it. My family loves it. Every time we have a get together, this is my dish that I make. So this is for you guys. Bye, YouTube. Love you guys.